Another Cricket 24 patch has come out and it's once again pretty great. It doesn't have any giant additions like the broadcast camera, but it has so many little improvements and additions that I think it is the best patch overall so far. The first thing you'll notice is how smooth the game has become. It runs like butter. If you had FPS problems, go ahead and play it now. It's most likely completely gone because my FPS almost doubled. The second thing you'll notice is brown pitches are back. Since the last patch, every pitch type looked like a grassy wicket, but now every pitch type looks different. The first thing they have added are World Cup qualifications in career mode. This is of course only for associate team, so most of us probably aren't going to get a chance to play this tournament, unless of course you're playing as a West Indian player, the most well-known associate team right now. Post-match press conferences have been added, but it's only for higher levels, so I guess only international and of course various T20 leagues. Here I played as Warner, I was both the captain and the player of the match. You get asked a few questions, nothing much, but on the very first try, I encountered a glitch. As you can see, probably a coding error, nothing serious, but this is a nice little addition for sure. Sliders have been added to shift timing windows, so you can make the timing window bigger on both sides, early and late. If you increase early timing window, you will be able to play the ball earlier and still time it properly. It basically increases the window where you'll get good timing and you can shift it from early and late. This is a much needed addition. I think it will make batting against spin much easier which has been a problem for me and some of you as well, but you have to find just the right slider settings. This is the most exciting change, the option to shift to caps while batting against spinners. You can manually do this or you can set it to automatic, so whenever a spinner comes on, your batsman will remove his helmet. One little cutscene of the batsman removing the helmet and putting on his cap would have been extraordinary, but this is great as well. Some player models have also been improved, they haven't mentioned which country or team. Also BBL squads have been updated. Improved batting animations. I played a few shots, almost every shot looked the same, but the scoop just looks a little cleaner, a little better. I can't point what has changed, but it just looks slightly improved. Fielding is Cricket 24's biggest issue, they have improved it with this patch as well, but I still saw a bowler racing from behind the sums instead of standing there collecting the ball and getting an easy run out. But I made a save at the boundary which was very close, but the fielder did a near perfect job and it looks super realistic as well, so up and down here. Improved running between the wickets, I didn't notice any changes here, the AI ran smart but it was the same before the patch as well. And performance issues have been improved as I talked about earlier. If you want to see the last patch review, click the video on screen. For now, subscribe for more Cricket24 videos and updates. Thanks for watching and have a great day wherever you are.